Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango, November Julian here for Off Grid Ham Radio. Today I've got something interesting from Oliver, Delta Lima 4 Kilo Alpha, the designer and manufacturer of the PA500 amplifier. Now he's gone ahead and designed and built a portable power supply, which is more like a solar generator, an incredibly smart solar generator, than it is just a simple battery. Now the unique aspect or the unique feature, the, the primary bullet point of this portable power supply is that it can actually power your radio, it can power the PA500 amplifier, and one additional device. So I've brought Oliver along for a sort of live stream discussion. It's pre-recorded, but it was live when we recorded it. And uh, we're going to talk about this new battery pack and what it brings to the table. So stick with me and let's get started with Oliver. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign Mary. So hello, Oliver. Hi, Julian. We're here today to talk once again, just like we did the last time. What we're talking about is portable power. Portable power for, uh, of course, for portable communications. Oliver has made a battery pack called the BAT500, Bravo Alpha Tango 500. And it's a battery pack which um, appears to be made specifically for the Lab 599. Uh, TX500. However, it also works with any other QRP radio. And uh, But um, the things that's different about this and different from uh, what you've seen on the channel before, guys, is uh, this BAT500 uh, can run a QRO radio. It can run multiple devices, and it's got integrated charge controller built in. That's now, right. Yeah, so that's kind of the, the spoiler. And now we're going to talk to Oliver and ask uh, a few questions about uh, the how, the why, and so on. I've already said the first one, what is the BAT500? But perhaps you can go ahead and expand on that for us. Yeah. Basically, the BAT500 is, I will not say a simple battery, but it is a battery pack, right? On the outer look, it is it is a battery which is basically made for the PA500, mm -hmm. and of course to also power any um, QRP radio as well. Yes. Well, the battery is has the same um, quality made. Um, it's an aluminum CNC made uh, enclosure has all the industrial connectors and robust um, power switch, an example, and everything like the PA500 already have and the TX500 as well. Okay. So it, it's, um, I would say, a nice addition to, to the both other devices, uh, PA500, TX500, and of course, any other, other radio can be powered as well with, with this uh, battery. Yeah. Or battery device, better said. So there's some, of course, some some special features. Uh, I can tell you later about it. Hmm. It's actually quite interesting that you've built a battery pack that powers the the amplifier. So the, actually, not just the amplifier, but the radio and the amplifier. Right. So and and I can tell you this was the main idea to power the PI500 mm -hmm. and it was also a biggest challenge because of the high amount of current, yeah. about current. Yeah. So the PA500 um, draw depends on the power output power from seven amps to 10 amps. If it's the expedition version, it's more in the direction to 10 amps, which put out um, even more than 100 watts. Yeah. And you can imagine from about 12 volts uh, with the efficiency factor, it will draw up to, let's say 12 amperes, mm -hmm. which is quite high for a normal 
battery. Right. So the battery construction inside or the battery cell arrangement and also the, the safety features must be adapted to the current right. device should be delivered. And that was a, a big effort to, to, yeah, to create this device actually. I mean, to have a battery with one, two or three amperes for some QRP devices or other devices to power. It's super easy, right? right? But to have a continuous current of more than 10 amperes, yeah. that's, it's a challenge. But finally, the BAT 500, it's, it's out, it's, it's available. Um, or will be available soon, better say. Yeah. Yeah, and have some nice features, additional features. Hey, before we move forward, mm -hmm. what's the capacity of the BAT 500? It's about 50 watt hour. Yeah, but that's actually quite a lot if you're talking about the, uh, the TX 500 or the 705 with the PA 500, that's quite good. Right. Yeah, it's, it's it's slightly above fifty watt hours. Yeah, it's good for for if it's just a QRP radio. If you have the hundred watt PA in the background running on a battery, um, it's okay. It's still okay. You can power the device, and basically SSB is the the, the, the mode or the digi digital mode as well. Yeah, you can power the device for some hours. Outstanding. I'm assuming then, uh, I hate to throw you under the bus, but <laughs> I'm just going to ask. I'm assuming then that you can connect a solar panel and charge it up at the same time. Right. Outstanding. Good question. Very good question. Yeah, you can power the, the device by a solar panel or by a power supply as well. And you can, uh, um, in parallel, you can use the output for any yeah any any device like the PA five hundred or the radio. So is that like a pass through voltage or is it is it charging the battery as you use it like simultaneously charge discharge? Exactly, exactly. So the 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 charger is an MPP charger which has a power point adjustments for the for the solar panel. Yeah, and will monitor continuously the the level of uh, voltage basically which needs to charge the battery and if the um, let's say the voltage level drops because of the current at the output right the MP track the voltage and, and adjust yeah to make sure that the battery is still in charge or it's still in charging yeah. so we don't need an external uh Genesan charge controller anymore we for don't example. need it it is basically integrated kind of yeah Outstanding. Yeah, it's it's basically it's not a stupid charger. It's it's an intelligent, smart, intelligent smart system. Yeah. Right. Yeah, calling it a battery is kind of an insulting. Uh, I, <laughs> I apologize. So it, it's much more than a battery. It's actually kind of a a solar generator. Oh yeah, it it is it's sounds like a battery or sounds like a battery pack with the enclosure yeah but it's much more than that it's it's basically a charging system on the one side and a power management controller on a on yeah. the other side right wow. and, um, yeah and also all the monitor information you need charge status and also the safety information if the battery is down or the battery is full charged. Well, there's more safety stuff inside, I can tell you later. Wow, excellent. What's the maximum solar panel we can use with the uh, BAT500? Okay, um, the answer are split it in two, <clears throat> two regions. One is the, the accepted voltage level from the solar panel. Mm -hmm. And the other answer is about what is the, the maximum power which can be ah. taken from the solar panel yeah. to charge the battery. So we are basically the BAT500 can accept 
up to 28 volts solar voltage. Okay. Which is not for every panel, <clears throat> but for most of, of the panels which are available for, yeah, for, for powering on the go, like mm, power film and example. Power film panels, yeah. Very good example. This stuff works very well with the pack. With the, with the device. Have you already tested with the power from panels? Yes, of course, I tested with Thanks. some different devices, different brands, but power from is, is, from my point of view, the most interesting solar um, configuration, let's say that, yeah. because of the, the features, light, light, efficiency, um, the voltage level, the power in general, so right. everything well balanced on the power from device yeah excellent so 60 watt is the maximum charge energy which can be taken from the panel yeah so which, which means if you have a, an example 100, 100 watt panel the device will only take the 60 watt because the internal the internal um tracker the charge controller and the MPP tracker basically is limited to 60 watt because of the space. So yeah. if I don't have a 60 watt panel, if I have a 90 or 100 watt panel, I can still connect it to the BAT 500. Well, there's one point you have to check yeah. that is voltage. If the panel not deliver more than 28 volts yeah. under all circumstances, yeah. then it's fine. Outstanding. Mm. Yeah, that's actually brilliant. So people don't have to go out and buy a, a specific or, you know, some other solar panel if they don't have one, <clears> as <throat> long as the voltage is fine. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Brilliant. Actually, yeah. I like this idea now yeah. that uh, the charge controller is also integrated with the battery pack. It's one unit. So it yeah. means there's fewer components to actually carry. So yeah, exactly. exactly. And, and the PCB, I mean, the circuit board of the, the, the charging, let's say, controller, mm -hmm. inside the, the, the device, there's no additional cable, there's no additional enclosure for the charger, there's right. no extra button, display stuff, nothing. It's not needed anymore. And um, how did you fit everything inside that? I mean, uh, the the <clears throat> this, the BAT five hundred is basically exactly the same size as the PA five hundred and the TX five hundred. It's got the oh, same yeah. form factor. Yeah, let me show. I don't know whether you can see that is the the TX five hundred, right? Yeah. And this one, oh, is that 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 is the that's the BAT five hundred. Outstanding. It's right. beautiful. So that's the input side. And this is the output side. So you've got three output uh, ports. I oh, noticed. yeah, exactly. Three. One for the PA500, if yeah. there's PA500. Yeah. Then one for a radio, yeah. like the TX500 or the IC705 or the... <laughs> ISO 818, 817, KX2. Yeah. And the third port, maybe for a computer. Yeah. One input, 60 watts, maximum 28 volts. Uh, three outputs. Uh, is the 12 amps shared across the three ports or is, it, uh, is that combined or individually 12 amps each? No, it's combined. So okay. 12 amps for all of the parts. Yep. And there's one, let's say, safety limitation. The safety limitation is 15 amperes. Yeah. You can't draw more than 15 amperes. And if then, I do? Then the, the fuse will come. Ah. Yeah. But I mean, that's that, a good thing. Yes, of course, it's a good thing. And... Um, well, I mean, safety first, right? right? Right. All right, guys. I've decided since this video is getting so long that I'm going to split it into a part one and a part two. 
What you've been watching so far was the BAT 500 overview, uh, telling you about it and some of its most interesting features. In part two, we'll go through many of the safety features about the BAT 500, and we'll tell you about features which I think are unprecedented in amateur radio today. So, for the YouTube members and patrons and anyone else who's helping to support this channel, you're absolutely awesome, and I honestly couldn't do it without you. For the rest of you, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, please consider leaving me a comment, a thumbs up, or a super thanks to let me know. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or someplace where other operators might enjoy it. Part two is coming up in a couple of days. Thanks for watching. You guys are absolutely awesome. All right, guys, rock and roll. Ciao.